something's up with my camera i thought it was recording but now i realize that it wasn't so basically all i said i'm gonna restate it i was thinking about the song by matt redmond called heart of worship if you've never heard it go look it up it's a beautiful song and it's not a new song by any means but i was thinking about the story behind the song and if i remember correctly the song was written because the church um, he felt like the church was reliant too much on um, the worship and this actual singing of the church um, during the church service rather than having worship be a matter of the heart and gratitude towards our Savior and our God. So their church decided to stop all worship music and just have no music during their worship. Um, for a period of time, it was a period of silence. And I know at first it was probably weird and awkward, you know, to go to church and have no music. But after a while, they learned, relearned, I should say, how to worship God without needing music. And we shouldn't need music either to worship the Lord. Um, I know I hear sometimes, you know, oh, well, you know, the music at church was so good. And it really, you know, I felt the spirit. Or sometimes I hear other people say, well, it wasn't really that good. I wasn't feeling the spirit on that one. But you should never need another person, another song, something else that should, you know, lead in the spirit or bring in the spirit. Basically, you sh there's nothing that we should have to rely on in order to worship. You should be able to worship God no matter what you're listening to or, you know, if you're not listening to anything at all. Worship is a matter of the heart. It's not contingent upon what song it's playing. Don't forget that. So anyways, I wanted to just talk about worship. What is worship? And I used a Bible dictionary and I looked it up um, and it said homage to God. And the word homage means special honor or respect shown publicly. So I guess there's different types of worship. Um, there is like worship with praise and dancing. But one thing that I think of is John 4, 23. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the fathers seek. I'm sorry, the Father seeks. God is the spirit and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. And what I think of when I hear we must worship in spirit with the Holy Spirit is to keep in step with the spirit. And Galatians 5.25 says, since we live by the spirit, let us keep in step with the spirit. And so keeping in step with the spirit is exactly what I talk about a lot on this channel. Daily um, Bible study and prayer and just seeking God. Lately, I've been trying to focus more on seeking God just because I love him and just because I want to carry out my day with him. I can always tell when I wake up in the morning the type of day I'm going to have by how I prioritize my day. And although it's not a hard, fast rule to start your day off with prayer, like there's no, you know, it doesn't say in the Bible if you don't start your morning off with prayer and seeking the Lord that, you know, it's a sin. However, there are so many times in the Bible where Jesus will get up early in the morning and pray and seek God. And I think that if we're trying to live a life according to Jesus, then, you know, that's a really great example. He must be trying to tell us something, you know, start your day off with the Lord. When I start my day off with myself and just jump into the day and not really think about my intent and my purpose, it really throws everything off. However, when I do things like go to bed on time, that allows me to wake up earlier, which allows me to then focus on being able to get my Bible study done in the morning, first thing when I wake up, because I'm not being interrupted by my family and you know what they need from me. But instead, I plan my time accordingly so that I can wake up and have the Lord be the first thing that I really devote my time to. 
when I wake up and I just jump right into my day, it's it's not good. <laughs> and I'm a morning person. I love mornings, but you know, I'm also a human. I'm a human person. So when I just try to start my day off on my own strength, it doesn't go well. But when I started off with the Lord, I'm just so much more patient and kind and loving towards the people around me. And I'm better able to handle my day. Um, versus if I like, you know, wait a little bit, have a cup of coffee and then get to my Bible study. You know, I want to prioritize God. Um, and so this is kind of like working backwards. So I start my day off with the Lord and that way I can keep with the spirit. And when we are in tune with the spirit and keeping in step with the spirit, according to Galatians 5, 25, um, then we, we keep in step with the spirit by, um, you know, studying his word and, and just maintaining our relationship with God dedicating our life to him and then it says we must we must worship in spirit and in truth and so it's so easy to go to church and worship and you know say that you love the lord but if you're not accepting the truths of the bible then what you know what difference does it make really there are some hard topics in the bible that are difficult for people to hear like selfishness you know if you don't want to study about selfishness and how you can put others first then you're jipping yourself you know you're only hurting yourself you must accept the whole bible the whole truth I've heard an analogy before and it says, you know, going to church and sitting on a pew is no, and calling yourself a Christian is no different than, you know, going into your garage and sitting in your garage and calling yourself a car, right? You're not, if you're not practicing the word and practicing the truths of the Bible, then you're not applying, you know, God's word to your life. And that is true worship in spirit and in truth. And of course it includes praise. I love putting on praise music. And just worshiping God and just basking in his presence whenever I'm feeling anxious or sad or upset. This is one way that I really stress most definitely. Just alone in my house, listening to God's, um, you know, music, praising God. Um, and also in prayer, you know, I worship him when I pray. Um, those are certainly also ways to worship. But we can worship throughout our day with the spirit and keeping in truth. Um, I make my coffee in the morning and I just say, thank you, God. It's so awesome that you put coffee on this earth. And that sounds, maybe it sounds really silly to you, but you know, I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm thanking God. I even, I love science and I, you know, I think it's so incredible how God created tiny little cells that work so cool with each other that make up a bigger, you know, specimen. And it's just, it's so cool how intricate and beautiful this earth is or even like a flower i'm going off on a tangent but all i'm trying to say is you can worship god by just slowing down a little bit and taking time to thank the lord and appreciating his creation even that's one example of worship um, worship is a matter of the heart so the next time you know i know we're in the middle of this pandemic right now and you know, no one's at church, <laughs> but next time we go to church, if you're ever sitting there and you're like, oh, you know, I can't believe this person is preaching or, oh, I wish this person was playing the music today. That's an attitude of the heart that you really should check. It's just going to be super honest with you. It's not someone else's responsibility for you to be able to hear the word and accept it into your heart and have a learning experience and growth experience from it. It's no one else's responsibility and that's an attitude of the heart that, you know, you could pray about and work on. And worship is not contingent upon, you know, what someone else does in the pew or in front of you at church. Worship is a matter of the heart. And I think it's so cool going back to the story at the beginning of this Bible study with Matt Redman, um, Heart of Worship, how their church just took a big uh, pause from worship altogether 
and they really did seek the heart of worship again and they didn't play any music i think for weeks or maybe it was months i don't know um in that church until you know they just were worshiping not because of the music and the lights and everything that you know is nothing's wrong with it i'm not trying to say anything's wrong with that but let's just examine where our heart is when it comes to worship um so yeah so i'm just gonna pray for you Father, I thank you for today. I thank you for giving us your word. I pray that you help us to go about our day um, worshiping you in spirit and in truth, Lord. I pray that you help us to be a light, that we can show others your love through the way that we live. And by the way that we live, worshiping you will allow us to be a ministry to those around us. Father, I just thank you so much. I thank you that you love us. Amen like this video if you like it or dislike it that's quite okay i'm fine with that it just lets me know what kind of videos you like to see um please subscribe it helps for the youtube algorithm and for other people to find my channel i post a new bible study video every monday wednesday and friday at 7 a.m eastern standard time and i can't wait to study the bible with you again